Good morning class. Welcome to the video lecture 8.3. So in this video, I will be discussing the CAM profile using simple harmonic motion. Let's get started. So we have here a sample problem for simple harmonic motion. So we have a CAM that is to give the following motion to a knife edge follower. So first, uh, a rise occurs during the 110 degree of CAM rotation then dwell during the next 30 degree of cam rotation. The return occurs for the next 90 degree of cam rotation and for the remaining 130 degree of cam rotation, dwell will happen. So the stroke of the follower is 50 mm and the base circle radius of the cam is 45 mm. The follower moves with simple harmonic motion. During the whole cam rotation, Draw the profile of the cam when the axis of the follower passes through the axis of camshaft. So, the thing or the motion na gagawin natin is simple harmonic motion. Okay. Nalista na natin yung kailangan nating mga parameters. No? So, simulan na natin. First, nagsetulot ako ng skill. Ang skill na ginamit ko is 2 degrees is to 1 mm. Next na gagawin ko is to draw the uh, cam displacement diagram natin. So, I'm gonna draw a line for the x-axis with the length of 180. 180 because supposedly this is 360 but we have a scale of 2 is to 1 kaya siya naging 180. And then, following that is the stroke of 50 mm. Next is another 180. Then, enclose na natin yung rectangle natin. Separate din natin siya based dun sa rise, dwell, return, and another dwell natin. So, uh, offset lang natin to. Offset ko siya ng 55 because of the scale, no? Dinivide ko ng 2. Yung 110 natin. Offset ko naman to ng 13, which is kalahati ng 30. Uh, 15. And lastly, uh, 45 naman, kalahati ng 90. Okay, nag ano na natin, na-sketch na natin. Next is, lagyan natin siya ng uh, point para mas gets natin yung partitions natin. This will be the starting point. Then... From here hanggang dito, this will be the rise, the first dwell, the return, and the second dwell. Okay. Next na gagawin naman natin is to draw a semicircle at this point. So gagawin lang natin, magdadraw tayo ng circle. Semicircle, no? So, draw tie circle here. Then, trim na lang natin. Okay. Next naman na gagawin is to have a partitions or divisions between the rise and then between this uh, return natin. So, gamitin natin 6 divisions ulit kagaya ng last time. From here, offset lang natin, 55 divided by 6. Because 6 uh, distributions, no? Or iterations. For here naman, this will be 45 divided by 6. Na-divide na natin siya, no? Nung 6 equal parts each, no? For the rise in return. The next thing na gagawin naman natin is to divide din itong half circle natin into 6 division. Same nung division natin dun sa dalawa. So, array lang natin. Polar, yes. Center here. Ang division natin, uh, 
this will be 90. Uh, 180. Yeah. So, na-divide na natin siya into 6 equal parts. Okay? After that, ang gagawin naman natin is to plot or draw a line from the point of the circle up to the line here dun sa division natin. So, para mas magets natin, try natin. So, mula dito sa point na to, hanggang sa first line, palitan natin ng kulay. So, from this point up to the line natin, until it intersect, another one, sa second line naman natin, from here, to the third line. Another one from here. Well, support line. And lastly, from here up to the uh, sixth line. Fifth line. Pala. Okay? Next, ang gagawin natin is to draw a curved line following this path of uh, intersection. So, gagawin natin, palitan natin ng kulay to into red. Then, I will use line. So, from this point, up to the point of intersections. Oops, magpas tayo, no? Okay. Sa kabila, ganun din, no? So, mula dito hanggang, extend lang natin, no? So, mula dito hanggang space, dito. And tuloy-tuloy na yan. Then, the next thing is to spline again. From this point, hanggang dun sa in point of intersections natin. Then, I will draw a straight line from here up to here. That will represent our... Um, dwell and then another line here straight line for the second dwell okay na draft na natin yung cam displacement diagram using the simple harmonic motion the next thing that we are going to do is to draw a line here up to the point of intersection yung red line natin until it intersect the divisions natin. Susukatin lang natin yun. So, represent lang natin siya as yellow line. So, yellow line represents the extension na gagamitin natin mamaya in plotting the cam profile. <clears throat> Next na gagawin naman natin is to draw the base circle radius. So, 45, no? So, palitan lang natin to, Gawin natin by layer and gawin natin white. So, circle, from here, our radius will be 45. And then, next step is to draw an imaginary knife edge follower here, no? So, this point represents the 0 degrees 
or the start of our cam rotation. So next is I will draw a line from the center up to this point of the knife edge. So this represents our uh, start, no, no rotation natin. The next thing that I will going to do is to divide the circle into the uh, motion natin, which is rise well and return natin. So rotate lang natin to, which is equal to 110 for the rise. Another line from here to here. Then rotate natin yun. Now, 30 degrees that will represent for the first well. Then another line. And rotate it. Which will represent our return. 90 degrees. So, na-divide na natin. Nagyan na lang natin siya ng separations. Parang mas madali natin maintindihan. Tapin na lang. Okay? Next na gagawin naman natin is to divide this section of our circle with the same number as the division natin na ginamit dito sa cam displacement diagram. So, if we use 6 divisions, malamang 6 din ang gagamitin natin. So, from here, we will draw an array. Polar from the center using 7. 7 items and 110. Okay, na-divide na natin. Same goes here. I divide natin siya na equal parts. From the center, 7 ulit, and then 90. Okay, na divide na natin siya ng tama. The next thing that I will going to do is to extend those lines no? until it reach a distance that fits the measurements here. So, yung yellow lines natin. So, ulitin ko, i-extend natin itong mga lines na to that will satisfy the length na na buo natin dito which is yung yellow line. So, pakita natin. Then, copy each. Then, lagay natin dito. Okay, the next thing that we are going to do is to uh, plot or to sketch a curve following those paths. So, let's change the color. Then, ito ko ba this line? From this center, connect those paths. Okay, so this represents the cam profile uh, using the simple harmonic motion natin 
which satisfies the conditions here. So that will be the end of the lecture. If you have any questions, you can message me on my messenger or my email. Thank you. Fire. Emmy, faculty, yeah. Emmy, faculty, yeah. Emmy, faculty, yeah. Emmy, faculty. Ah, uh, ah, uh, siya naman si Sir Ivan. Espinosa tulo ng pangalan. Pangako di mahihirapan. At hindi kanya iiwan. Ah, uh, siya naman si Sir